how to roll back your Windows 11 update and then downgrade from Windows 11 to Windows 10. Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel Genie Guide. In this video, I'll show you how you can roll back the Windows 11 update. So make sure to watch the video until the end. Now the very key distinction is that this tutorial only applies for people who had first installed Windows 10 and now they had installed Windows 11 and now they want to roll back. This tutorial does not apply to those who bought a PC which already was integrated with Windows 11. So I'm not going to instruct those who've already had Windows 11 on their PC. It's only for those who just upgraded to Windows 11 from 10 and that they want to roll back. Now keep in mind that if it's been over past 10 days that you've installed Windows 11 and then you want to roll back, you will not be able to do this. But you can still make that sure by just going to your file explorer, right? Once you open your file manager, go to this PC and then Windows C drive over here. Make sure that you have the windows.old folder over here because if you have windows.old folder, it means that's the previous version of the windows and you can actually restore it. Now, if you don't have it, obviously this process is not going to work for you. So if it's only been past 10 days, you will find that folder. Now, after you make sure that you have that folder, what you need to do is you have to just launch your settings. Once you launch your settings, go to windows update and then go to advanced options. And then over here, you want to look for the option called recovery. So just go to recovery and then right over here, you'll find the option called go back. It will ask you go back to the previous version of Windows. So if you only recently upgraded from Windows 10 to 11, you will find the option called go back to previous version on Windows. When you click on that option, it will ask you for a confirmation that do you really want to roll back? So you have to go ahead and confirm the changes and Windows 10 will be put back inside of your PC again if you had upgraded to Windows 11 on a recent days. So hope this video helps you. If it did help you, then Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. If you have got any questions though, feel free to leave them down. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video.